Good morning everybody out there in YouTube world. Welcome to Working Man's Restorations channel here. What we got going on here is our uh, 2005 Volkswagen Bug convertible. And what we're doing is um, we're working on some brakes. Uh, brakes and a bunch of other little things trying to fix up a few little things going on on here. So what we did was yesterday I went ahead and took everything apart. Made sure that the uh, calipers compress back in. This is how you're supposed to compress the calipers back in. Well, this is how I do it. You guys, uh, you know, I'm sure some of you agree with this, the way I do things. Some of you don't. Um, there's the right way, there's the wrong way, and there's the working man's way. And for me, um, as long as it gets done, done right, done safely, and works, then um, we're good to go. That's how we get things done around here. So, one thing that I do like about these, uh, these brakes um, was they got these little... These are the style bolts that they have. They have that uh, Allen wrench head in here, and they're they're saved by this 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 is a plastic sleeve right here, and it's got caps that go over the end. So when those are in there like that, and that's how they screw in, but they screw in all the way. These are covered. These are clean. So, you know, that's absolutely amazing that in upstate New York up here, we, we don't have to um, worry as much about, there's, there's no rust on there. It, it broke free and clear clean. So, a couple problems we had was it said the brake pad sensor was worn. Um, we're going to go ahead and, and understand that these brakes were done fairly recent. The pads aren't that, uh, let me see if I can. I'll find the pads in a second. But uh, this side wasn't that bad, but since I got it this all torn apart, I'm going to go ahead and replace the pads. And this uh, rotor should be fine. And we had an ABS sensor problem. And um, I'm pretty sure just about anybody could figure out why my ABS sensor is bad. Let's see here. Let's let's try to trace it back, okay? Wheel speed sensor, ABS sensor, okay? Do 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 do. Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Oh, oh, and it picks back up here. Oh, this must be Bluetooth. Yeah, that's it. This is a, a Bluetooth speed sensor. There we go. How how about that? What do you guys think? Think that could be my problem right there? So we went ahead and ordered one today, and it goes back up. I unhooked it last night, but it hooks through these two little things and leaves a loop in there and then goes inside the frame in there. I got to figure out where it goes inside. But I went and ordered a new uh, wheel speed sensor. Sometimes the simplest things, you know, it's it's absolutely amazing how simple some things are. So that's this side and both sides are completely different. I mean, I, I can, you know, this side, the pads were good and the rotor was good. Let me see if I can show you guys the brake pads. Yeah, here they are. Look how good these are still. You see that groove? When that groove is gone, that means the brake pads are, are gone. But I figured since I already got it torn apart, I'm gonna go ahead and put the new pads on. I just picked those up. Now this, this is kinda different. Um, there's a indicator on here and underneath on the dash that says that the brake pads are worn so I tried to figure out how that works and it didn't really make a lot of sense so I took it apart and found out the indicator it's not it's only on the one side here so this this pushed back in see this side isn't a Bluetooth see that's attached real nice and easy but Make sure you do a thorough inspection as you're doing stuff here. That boot's not supposed to be like that. So I went ahead and ordered one, 90 bucks for the whole shaft actually and got a discount too. You know it's amazing sometimes guys what you ask for. Sometimes you get it. So all I'll have to do is pull that nut off and then probably I haven't looked at it yet but I'm assuming you got to drop the lower control arm. I'll put a video in that how to replace the CV shaft but you have to um, you know for the shaft to be able to come out of that hole right there whoo, you have to take the nut off Wee, take the nut off pull it out and then you have to be able to push the axle back in 
to get it, you know, you got to get it out of that hole. So what you got to do is unbolt something down here. I don't know where it is yet. I haven't looked. And I don't feel like getting on the cold ground yet. So you drop that down. And then you just pull the you you pull this hub assembly out like this, out like that, and then you uh, disconnect the shaft. And it, it don't bolt, it shouldn't bolt in. I haven't looked, but as far as I know, that just pulls right out of the transmission. So, and then we have a leaky transmission pan right there. You can see the wetness on there. A new pan's 190 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the transmission pan, and um, it's been bashed in a bunch of times. And we're just going to JB weld that sucker. It's good. It's brand new. But this caliper pushed back in. Whenever you're going on a parts run and stuff, try to get, like, the project... Try to take as many... Nice! Look at that. Speaking of trying to get the project done nice, that's, uh... That's another Bluetooth uh, wheel speed sensor. Guys, they're only thirty dollars. Why? That makes no sense, right there. Why? Why go through that trouble? Hey, I, I got to show you something else. Okay. We need two wheel speed sensors. Well, you better call them and tell them. I'm gonna call because you gotta. I gotta order them. So this was the rotor. And we decided to replace them because what I've been noticing a lot lately, I haven't really done that many brake jobs, but I've done a few. What I'm starting to notice lately, see this side looks, uh, you know, passable almost. Then you flip it over to this side and you see, you see, uh, you know, it's, well, I mean, it's kind of passable, you know, for, for, you know, a guy on a budget that has to get by, you, you can get by with that. This this was taped on here. The wheel speed speed sensor was on this side. I'm making a video here real quick. No, that's fine. I'm just uh, sun blind. Okay. So yeah. Look, you can see it from here. It's taped. Sure as shit. Look at that. So. Okay. Well, that, at least we don't have to have the lights on. Yeah. So, and this is the uh, sensors that are included in the uh, in the brake pads. So, I think that wore right there. That's worn through, and I'm pretty sure that's why it says the brake brakes are bad. But you see, you don't see the center V, the center line. That means they're they're getting worn. You can't even tell where that remotely went. Well. I think this is two different kind of brake pads. I think somebody replaced one side at a time. I hate when people do that. Well, I mean, you got to do what you got time and budget for, but but then go back in the next few weeks and and fix it. You know, do do uh, do do it right. If you only got time to do the one side, I don't know if you guys hear the chicks in the background, but we got chicks. I love fresh eggs. So, okay. Well, we pulled the front clip off because somebody also did a whole bunch of uh, a weird, goofy stuff here. So this is a plastic fender, and it's broke. There's no mounting surface left right here. There's supposed to be a, an edge. I'll show you on the bumper over here what happened. We're going to try to figure out how to get this set up. But you can see here, this is how they tried to fix it. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to get the bumper to hold back on there quite yet. And this is what they did over there. Look at that. And that's custom right there. See that? That's how they had it held on. So I'm going to try to fix it the best way I can. And uh, the headlights need, need polished. We have to get the headlights polished. They're fogged over, but this is a pretty nice little car. We picked it up for a real reasonable price, and uh, the glove box door don't stay shut. But the top does work. We're going to go through, and um, I got some dents to pull down there, 
and stuff. So if you guys like my content, do me a favor and hit the like button. Uh, comment, tell me what you guys think of the old bug here and, and what you guys do for maintenance. Um, be kind of cool if you also commented something you guys are appreciative for. These days and times with all this stuff going on um, definitely helps a, a guy uh, realize what he's got going on and uh, how thankful he should be for everything he has. But um, yesterday we did go through and replace an O-ring down here. We had a coolant leak from a little thing right down in there. It was real easy to fix. So went ahead and got that replaced yesterday. The And look at this. Check this out. Nice V-belt, huh? Makes it easy to inspect when it's put on backwards. <laughs> So, okay, that's it for now, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, please. 80% um, of my views are coming from non-subscribers, so that means I'm missing a chance to pick up subscribers. So um, let me know what you guys think of the old bug here. I'm going to be working on a whole bunch of content all this week, so thank you. I appreciate everyone as my subscribers. Um, do the right thing.